All right, let's work on the three problems. Is the following function continuous at the given point? So we have f of theta equals sine theta minus cosine theta over tangent theta, and we're looking at the point theta equals to pi. So remember, there's three things we have to check to see if a function is continuous at a point. We have to check one, that if we have a function f and we're looking at a point a, that f of a is defined. So that point has to exist. Two, we need the limit as x approaches a of f of x to exist. And then three, we need uh, essentially one to be equal to two. So f of a has to equal the limit as x approaches a of f of x. So to find that it's continuous, we need to check these three steps. So let's start with the first one. Let's take f and let's substitute pi into it to see if f of pi exists. Okay, so this will be sine pi minus cosine of pi all over tangent of pi. Okay, so let's evaluate this. So sine of pi is equal to uh, zero. Cosine of pi is going to be equal to negative one. So we're subtracting negative one here. And then tangent of pi is equal to sine pi over cosine pi. So that would be zero over negative one, which is equal to zero. So our result is going to be zero plus one, one over zero. Okay, now this is undefined. So what this tells us is that, well, it fails the first test. F of pi is not defined. Therefore, is this function continuous? The answer is no, it's not continuous because the point that we're looking at does not exist. There's a hole there. Well, there's some sort of discontinuity there. I don't know if it's a hole or if it's an infinite discontinuity, um, but we could certainly check. Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two, gx is equal to x squared plus one plus x to the negative one, and we're looking at the point x equals zero. Is it continuous? Well, let's just rewrite this function quickly to get all of these weird exponents out of the way. So we can visually look at our domain and range. So we have x squared plus one plus one over x. Oh, this is a problem, isn't it? Because if x equals zero, then we have one over zero, which is once again, undefined. So we cannot have g of zero because then we get zero squared plus one plus one over zero, which is essentially undefined. Therefore, is the function continuous at x equals zero? No, it's not because g of zero is not defined. Okay, one more question. Okay, now we got a piecewise function. So we have some conditions here. First of all, we're looking at h of x, where uh, if x is less than zero, the function is x squared minus e to the x. And if x is greater or equal to zero, the curve looks like x minus one. And we're looking for the continuity at x equals zero. So let's check first, what is h of zero? Well, h of zero, if x is zero, we use x minus one. So h of zero would be zero minus one, which is equal to negative one. Okay, so h of zero is defined and it's equal to negative one. Perfect. Two, let's check the limit. So we have to check the limit as x approaches zero from the right. And this would be of uh, x minus one because when x is greater or equal to zero, we use x minus one in our piecewise function. So this is just equal to zero minus one which is equal to negative one. Oh, so that's perfect. Now we just need to make sure that the limit as x approaches zero from the left is the same. And here we look at x squared minus e to the x. So this is zero squared minus e to the zero, which is just zero minus one, which is equal to negative one. Okay, perfect. So step one said h of zero is equal to negative one. Step two said that the limit as x goes to zero of h of x is equal to negative one. So third, is one equal to two? Yes, it is. Therefore, is the following function continuous at the given point? Yes, it is continuous. 
h of 0 is defined, and the limit as x approaches 0 of h of x is defined, and those two things are equal to each other. Therefore, this is continuous at x equals 0. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them.